Hey guys, and welcome to another episode of Poor Charles Therapy Session. So I was able to watch Poor Charles, well, sorry, General Hospital today um, in real time. And here's some thoughts. Alexis and her therapy sessions. I can do without because I don't think that Alexis really needs therapy. I think she just needs a storyline. And her sitting here with the therapist is doing nothing for her, nothing for me, and nothing for the audience. If y'all aren't gonna put them together, then what is the point of her sitting there and babbling? I mean, there are so many great uses for Alexis, and this is not one, and I'm okay with this being over. Um, I think Alexis is a complicated character, but she's smarter than that, and she can actually benefit from having a relationship or, you know, playing the role of grandma, even. You know what I mean? Uh, let's see. Stella has a kin out there someplace. Okay. Jordan's pushing her to go find her kin. Jordan has nothing to do. That's why Jordan is pushing her to go find her kin. I get it, but that's Stella's decision to make. Now, here's the thing. I would be okay with Stella finding her kin. There's nothing, nothing. <laughs> My kid is over here nothing. doing something he has no business doing. So I would be okay with Stella finding her kin. The only problem with that is that this kin is probably connected to Port Charles in some way or form. And I'm not okay with that person being connected to Port Charles because I feel like we need new characters and I don't want everybody coming into Port Charles to be connected to somebody in Port Charles because that leads me to believe there's another story, another connection and nobody needs to hear all that. We want new stories, new ideas, fresh ideas. Get away from that ledge. Now, Benjamin, get away. Have a seat. And I'm, I'm over it, you know? I, I like the fact that Stella came. She ain't got no connections to nobody except for, uh, what's his face? Curtis. So that's about it. But sit down. You hard hearing? And do not move. So that's my whole thing about that. So I just feel like I don't need her connection. I don't know who her connection could be either. I don't even care. It's not something I'm interested in, right? All right. So, let's go to Drew. Now, Drew was about to do some serious damage to Shiloh, okay? Then Curtis comes and stops him. Curtis, let him fight. In the words of Baz for making a band, the band, the band, let him fight. Because they need to get that out of their system, okay? And for all we know, Shiloh might punch Drew if Shiloh could punch Drew. I don't think he could get that off, but if he could punch Drew, maybe that might knock something into Drew and he may start remembering something. You know what I mean? I don't think his memories are gone. I think they're just buried deep inside and he needs something to help him remember. Now, Shiloh's having all these flashbacks. I'm good with the flashbacks. I don't want to see the flashbacks. You know why? Because Drew can't remember that stuff. So why y'all telling us about this? It don't matter. Drew can't tell us nothing because Drew don't remember nothing. You see what I'm saying? So y'all see here flashing back with Shiloh. Ain't nobody paying Shiloh no mind. Now what I need for y'all to do is clean him up and make him look good. Because I can't stand the shaggy looking Shiloh. I need Shiloh to walk in there looking good so I can join DOD. And, you know, live my life. Okay? But that's not going to happen. But this is the situation. So I'm trying to figure out what the writers or where the writers are going with this whole let's do the flashback so we can get more into who Shiloh is. No, it doesn't work if we it, it doesn't work if Drew doesn't remember. Remember that. If Drew doesn't remember, then this whole thing don't work. Unless we're all gonna find a way to help us get Drew to remember. Okay. Real quick, I just want to point out that Nicholas is not dead. I've been saying that Nicholas is not dead. Do you know why? Because I can see how we thought Nicholas was dead, but there was no body. Then Valentine takes over the house, Windermere. Then Valentine has a daughter and he's in love with uh, Nina. The way he cares for his daughter says to me, or said to me, that there's no way he could have killed Nicholas. I think Nicholas knew about Valentine. Nicholas and Valentine had a conversation. Valentine knew what time it was. Valentine did his part. Nicholas disappeared. Now, the twist would be if Nicholas's son knew that his father was alive this whole entire time and was playing. 
along with Valentine. That would be the twist. So the only person really being hurt is Laura. And everybody has to keep it up. So that way Laura would not know the truth. So that way Nicholas can disappear, get his stuff together, and then make his grand return. Yes? Yes. So remember I said Nicholas is not dead. But that's how the story should go. Because I can deal with that. Other than that, it would be cruel to let his son think that he was dead and he wasn't dead. And as close as they were, no. Mm -mm. That, I couldn't even see that happening. That that would make no sense. But then again, you know, you writers be real shady sometimes. Look at what you did to Robin. Look at what you did to Elizabeth. Look at what you did to Brenda. Okay? Y'all told Brenda, get married to Sonny. The Sonny said he don't want no kids. But then after y'all get divorced, guess what? Sonny done had how many other kids after that? Please buy. Have several seats. Okay? Now, Lulu and Dante... I'm sorry, I, I, my heart doesn't break for Lulu, but the actress playing Lulu, give her a star because she's doing a heck of a good job because she's showing us some real emotion and I appreciate that. But at the end of the day, here's the situation. When he steps up, when he stepped outside of his marriage and slept with Valerie, you already knew what time it was, okay? You already knew what time it was. Now he's having some issues. Y'all keep going back and forth talking about, oh, well, he shot Peter. He didn't know he was shooting Peter. He was going through his own struggles, okay? Peter just happened to be there when the door opened. It could have been uh, Maxie who got shot, okay? Now, he filing for divorce. Okay, honey, divorce him then. Divorce him. Guess what? He decided to work with the WSB. Well, he should have stayed home. The fact that he decided to work for the WSB and not stay home should have told you that he was done with the marriage. He's his father's son. Look at Sonny. Spitting image, okay? Spitting image. It's the same thing. He ain't gonna be faithful to you, honey. He's been faithful, but he'd rather leave you than to cheat on you. You don't do it for him anymore, honey. So just move on and get yourself a new man. And then when he gets his mind right and he comes back, he's going to be ready to be a father to his son. He ain't got to be a father to Charlotte, be a father to Rocco. Do that and move on and have another life. Ain't nothing wrong with that, girl. Do you. Okay? You worried about being a single mom. Honey, you got babysitters. Relax. Relax. Okay? Other than that, this episode went by quickly quickly Ava and this magazine honey have a seat okay have a seat because you want your daughter Kiki to know the message in this magazine honey let me tell you something Kiki is done but then again let me tell you something else I feel like if you died then you should have a forgiving heart to still be bitter doesn't really make much sense to me and that was a bitter angry spirit that came out of the blue to talk to Ava and it's just I mean come on if not for nothing your mother never wanted you to really die so I just thought that was a bit extra it wasn't even necessary but other than that like I said this was a fast moving episode I love Drew I want to see more of Drew I like Drew and Curtis's friendship but at some point Curtis gotta let Drew go let you get some punches in and then that's when you let him you know you step in all right that's what friends do friends let you get those punches and then be like all right let's go let's go let's go you know what i mean other than that i thought it was a good episode i thought it was very fast moving it didn't stagnate it, it just kept going so i appreciated monday's episode now tuesday don't fail me 